You stumble across a river, and you notice that it flows with water at a variable speed. The water flows faster to the right than it does on the left. You start here on the left side of the river, and you need to swim to the exact other side. What path must you take to get there in the least amount of time? Can you figure it out? Well, let's start by looking at speeds. At any point along your path, x, y, your total velocity will look like this. Let's deconstruct this into horizontal and vertical components. Your net vertical speed must partially consist of the water speed at this point, v of x. This means this arrow here denotes your raw, unassisted swimming speed, u. Let's define an angle theta like this so that we can find the horizontal component, u cosine theta, and vertical component, u sine theta. This means your net horizontal velocity is dx dt is equal to u cosine theta. And your net vertical velocity is dy dt is equal to u sine theta plus v of x. And let's call these equations 1 and 2. From the first equation, we can rearrange and integrate to solve for the total time taken along your path. We'll integrate from the start x is equal to 0 to the end x is equal to h. This means the total time t is given by the following integral. And our job now is to minimize this value by solving for the best function theta that defines our path. But we're not done. We need to get to the exact opposite side of the river, and this is a constraint that we need to account for. So let's derive an equation for this constraint using the two equations we previously derived. Equation 2 divided by equation 1 yields the following. If we rearrange and integrate, then we get this. The left-hand side of this expression is the vertical displacement from where you started. Well, we want to end at the exact opposite side of the river, so delta y must be equal to zero. And there we have it. We have our constraint equation. This means whatever value of theta that we find that minimizes time must also simultaneously satisfy this integral. So far we have two equations. We want to minimize t, but subject to this constraint. I'll call the constraint equation g. To solve this, we're going to need some help from the Euler-Lagrange equation. First, define a new function, k, and set it equal to t plus lambda g, where lambda is just an unknown constant that math nerds call a Lagrange multiplier. Now you might ask, why are we doing this? Well, as it turns out, minimizing t subject to the constraint g is the exact same as minimizing k. We're essentially killing two birds with one stone. Writing this expression for k will look like this. Notice how the integral bounds are the same, so we can bring that out the front. I'm going to define everything in this integral equation as l, and in general l can be a function of x, theta, and d theta dx. Now we can apply the Euler-Lagrange equation to minimize k. And that equation is del l del theta minus d dx of del l del theta dash is equal to zero. Luckily for us, theta dash does not appear explicitly in the expression for l. So this means del l del theta dash must be equal to zero. As a result, the only equation we need to now solve to find theta is del L del theta is equal to zero. I'll zoom through the math for you, but del L del theta is found by applying the chain rule and simplifying. The end result is that sine theta is equal to minus lambda u divided by one plus lambda v. It may not hit you at first, but this is the equation of the path that minimizes time. You may have been hoping for an expression like y is equal to some function of f of x, but this is just as good because it defines the angle you should swim at at every point. The only thing we have left to do is find the value of lambda. 
In principle, this can be done by plugging this into the constraint equation, but in practice, it's best to calculate lambda numerically. So, I wrote a MATLAB script which plots the optimal path for several different values of this constant lambda. And what you're seeing right now are the multiple best paths according to different lambda values. We're only interested in the path which ends at the exact opposite side of the river, which is this orange path right here. And so that's it. This is the path we should swim. This is the path of least time subject to our constraint. And notice you can read into this a little bit because it tells you that you need to swim down early when the water speed is the weakest. Now, in case you're not totally satisfied with the very calculus heavy method to find the optimal path, I decided to code another MATLAB script to find the answer from scratch using an optimization solver. This is the output of that script. Amazingly, it outputs the exact same answer. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Cheers.